I don't know if you guys ever used one of these paint sprayers before. Uh, I bought this one from Harbor Freight. I think it was like 200 bucks. The only complaint I have, I've only used it twice, I'm going to be honest with you. But the only complaint I have is the nozzle. Let's see. A little piece, a little piece right here. The nozzle is a 5.5. Which, you got to spray it. So, you can't, you have to keep this thing moving as fast as you possibly can. If you don't, then uh, you're wasting paint. Paint will, it just starts running down. I, I don't know why they did that. I mean, they sell other ones. They do, but I'm just, I wasn't happy with that. So, what I do is, I wish I had a cleaner five-gallon bucket. But what are you gonna do? That's what I have. So uh, what I do is I dump. So I got three gallons of red paint. Yeah, I'll probably use it all. So I have three gallons of red paint. Uh, I might only dump two gallons in right now, because honestly, I was gonna paint three dumpsters. I only got a twenty and a thirty today. I was gonna paint my twelve-yard dumpster, but I rented it out. So that's what happens. I'd rather make money. And have them look pretty. But. You just plug this sucker in, right? All right, and then there's a little switch here, and it's it's down. Uh, I think yeah, down is down is prime. Okay, now it's on prime. See, the I could show you. Okay, look. Down is prime, up is hose. So you put this down, boom, and then, and then you turn it on. That way you're gonna see this little hose coming off of here. This little hose coming off here is then, eventually you're gonna have tape coming out of it. Oh, there it is. Look at it. Look at it. This is a paint thinner, and I'm gonna get to that. See how that's good. exactly what I'm doing. Okay. All right. See it? Look. Boom. This is the paint fitter from when I cleaned it out before. You see how it's in there? Oh. Oh. It's making a mess. It is making a mess. Oh. 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 It just sprayed all over me.
the black on top. I think it looks better by hand. But. Kind of like my signature, so people know. This is mine. Even though it's going to I'm not claiming to be Picasso, but I mean, this is wow, that's gorgeous. Oh, let's look at the other one. I still have to, I still have to, uh, let's see. Hopefully, this isn't too shaky. I just want to show you this is that other green one. I mean, I still got to patch up the inside. I think I gotta get like flashing or something for this. But I mean, it came out. This is nice. This came out good. It really did. Besides the holes inside. Let's go inside. Okay, so there's the issues now. See all that? Those are holes. See? There's outside. Oop. Yep. And then. Oh, yeah. Oh, she got holes. But, I, I mean, to be honest with you, flashing is not strong enough. But I have really no choice because it's rounded. I could go get sheet metal, but I just, I don't know. I don't think I have enough time. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll get sheet metal and weld it in. I don't know. I usually just self-tap it. I could do that with sheet metal, too. You know, it's just... Let's go inside here. It's just, uh... Oh, uh, yeah. Don't mind the garbage. Oh, there's a wallet. What's in that wallet? Look at that. Somebody's wallet. Oh, it's empty. So here's my issue up here. See, I threw a piece of plywood. Oh, we got a big hole there. So I don't know what we're going to do with that. Do that hole. Wow. That's a ground. That's, that's the ground. Same thing under that plywood. But then, if you look down it, there's no other holes. I don't know. And I'm going to put a whole nother gallon. That's three gallons of paint thinner. Watch your eyes. All right, that's three gallons of paint thinner right there. What I'll end up doing is, what I'll end up doing is, putting all that through the gun. And once I put that all through the gun, it'll be good. I mean, this is $11 a gallon. So this, you know. That's why I like to do multiple dumpsters. If you don't do multiple ones, it's just a waste of money. You know?
want to get the Eternus top. <laughs> This nozzle has, this is, okay, this is a steady stream. I'm going to shoot it. Okay. Oh. Steady stream. See, it's coming out. Like it. It's pretty clear now. See, the, you want to do it until it's clear and then wipe everything down with the access because, you know, if you put it away, it's like, you want to get all this off. Look at As much as you can. I hold my hand over it. Look. It blows back on it, see? But see, then you got, this goes... Quarter turn, that's off. See, this is leaking. That's not supposed to leak. This is spray. Oh, we don't want to blow it on the paint. We're going to take the paint off the dumpster we just painted. But this is, see that? It's clear. This is actually done. This is done. So I still would take... I still would take the head of it. This, yeah, this, just, just clean it. Look at it. Rub it all down. See? Clean it all. Clean your hose. Do all that. Oh, because it. That's the problem. Don't. It stinks. I spilt that paint. I'm a little upset about that. This machine is brand new. Yeah, it's full of paint. Right, it is what it is. When you have the end, I always actually... Okay, you put the head of the gun in there. Look, I'm going to take this, right, this piece. I know it's hard to see. But see this? This screen is actually on the end of the hose. So this goes into paint. Uh, either a gallon or the five gallon, whatever bucket you use. This goes in there. So you want to make sure the screen is clean. You go to use it again, and it's not clean. Uh, you're going to be buying a new, because this is oil-based paint, so it's not like it comes off easy. So you want to dip it in. Don't be scared. Dip it in there. Dip that in, put everything in. Don't put this in. Wow. Look at the mess I made. If you like the video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. So when I put more footage on, you'll know. See you next time. <laughs>